Mary Brown publicly teases new boyfriend about only having three exes. Is there a special award for who has the most exes? Because if there is between Mary Brown and her new boyfriend Amos, Mary is the champ. In a recent Instagram Live Fridays with Friends held by the TLC star, she brought along her new boyfriend and her BFF Jen Sullivan. During the question and answer time in which Jen asked the question, Amos revealed that he has been married three times and has been divorced three times which means that he has three ex-wives. Hearing that, Mary was stunned but not for long as she quickly made a joke about the number of exes she has. Counting from her ex-husband Cody Brown, down to his other wives Janelle, Christine, and Robin, Mary joked, I sort of have three ex-sister wives and an ex-husband. I beat you. Mary was the first wife of the TLC patriarch Cody, and she was the last wife to divorce him after over three decades of being married to him. Amos, not a fan of fame. Before the live stream ended, Jen asked Amos how he felt after knowing that his girlfriend is famous for once being in a polygamous marriage and being an ex-polygamist in the public eye on a television show. She went on to inquire if the knowledge raised any red flags, and he affirmed, yes, it was a little. Mary chimed in, I think it was the second time we talked. He was like, yeah, I'm a really private person. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I'm not on social media. I'm a really private person. I don't let a lot of people into my life. I'm like, oh, so how private are you really? In the live stream, Mary gushed about the things that he does that make her feel cared for. He just looks at me and he's got, like, the sweetest eyes. And when he smiles, they crinkle. They're happy and they just make me happy. She continued, also, if I'm, like, stressed out, like, he did this the other day. I was stressed out and he's like, just stop. Let me hold you for a second. Just breathe. It was so sweet. He just cared. And also, he just fills up my Yeti all the time. He just walks around and does little things. He just notices. Will Janelle Brown be able to sue Cody for Coyo past money? Janelle has parted ways with Cody and has cut all her ties with her past life. But still, she is stuck financially with the Browns. She had a dream of building her house on her family property in Coyo Pass. The celeb even moved into an RV for the same. Amid all this, fans started to wonder if Janelle would ever be able to sue Cody in court or not. They discussed why she wasn't taking any legal action against her ex-polygamist husband and Robin to get her funds back. Will Janelle ever get her money back? Will Janelle sue Cody for her funds in Coyote Pass? Janelle Brown didn't withdraw her investments like Christine after her divorce. The latter was quick to end her involvement in Coyote Pass, but the former is still tied to it. Sister Wives fans recently saw her crying her heart out because of the same. She admitted that she was a smart woman, but putting all her money in the Coyote Pass was the worst mistake of her life. Janelle wondered if, after her split, the Browns would cooperate with her in solving the matter or not. She is currently in her 50s and doesn't even have anything under her name except a part in Coyote Pass. Hence, some viewers took to Reddit and discussed whether Janelle could sue Cody for her investment or not. The OP stated that Janelle wasn't legally married to Cody, which would create issues for her in court. Several Sister Wives viewers took to the comment section and stated some alternatives that could be favorable for her. A user explained that though things would depend on agreements and contractual obligations, a few remedies could be available for Janelle. Another one pointed out that the Browns kept their money in a communal account, so Janelle can even claim on that. Someone even stated that if Janelle was a partner in the LLC with the Browns, she could make a claim on that as well. Yet some fans said that she wouldn't allegedly be able to make any legal claim on anything that is under Cody's name on papers. Does Janelle wish to build on Koyo Pass? Sister Wives fans don't think that Cody and Robin would ever think of building on Koyo Pass in the near future. They have been busy with their own lives and have even spent a lot of money on the renovation of their current house. But it seems that Janelle still hasn't given up on the prospects of building a house on Coyote Pass. She talked about the same during season 18 and stated that she was still firm on her decision. Janelle also doesn't feel that Cody would even land up on Coyote Pass and build there. But she has an alternative plan ready if things go otherwise. As per the celeb, if her ex-husband ever plans to construct his house next to her, she wouldn't hesitate to get a high fence. Christine Brown felt vows were unnecessary with new husband. 
Christine Brown from Sister Wives is crazy in love and proud to show it, and now she's opening up on why she felt that vows were not necessary with her new husband, David Woolley, during their ceremony. She spoke to the messenger about her magical wedding and what she's learned about what really matters in a relationship. Not only that, but how to keep it strong despite all the challenges and obstacles life may bring. Communication is key for Christine and her husband. Communication really is the most important thing, Christine said. Honest, open, and loving communication. I can't stress that enough. When we asked our efficient Corbin, also Wooly's son-in-law, to perform our marriage, we told him saying our vows to each other was unnecessary. We are committed and we know that about each other. Christine met David on a dating app in October 2022, and the couple tied the knot on October 7, 2023. They were joined in Moab, Utah by their families and close friends. Christine shared that the wedding wasn't stressful for them at all because of how calm and sure they were of each other. We didn't really have stress at all, Christine shared, although there was the one time at the very beginning when I asked the cameras to leave for a few minutes and took a couple of deep breaths. It's natural, though, for a bride to need a minute before walking down the aisle. But at the end of the day, she shared that marrying David was absolutely incredible. Happily ever after. Previously, Christine was in a polygamous marriage to Cody Brown with sister wives Janelle Brown, Mary Brown, and Robin Brown. Everyone got a front row seat to that marriage on the television show and saw it essentially break down from the inside. Christine announced her split from Cody in November 2021. The couple share six kids together. Since parting ways, Christine revealed that she's grown in so many different ways and is looking forward to her new life with Wooly. I'm more independent and strong now than I ever was, she explained. It's surprising to me because growing up, I felt like the only way to have true independence was through living polygamy, and being with David has made me a stronger person. Mary Brown's taste in men gets worse. Mary Brown recently introduced her new boyfriend Amos Andrews to the world, but as more and more details come out about Mary's new man Amos, fans are beginning to wonder if she was better off with Cody Brown. Mary Brown finally left Cody Brown even though he dumped her years earlier. It was kind of awkward to watch Mary and Cody's breakup play out on season 18 because we all know Cody was done with her by season 11. Regardless, Mary Brown got the divorce episode she always wanted and is moving on to bigger and better. But is Amos Andrews really better? Mary Brown's new boyfriend Amos Andrews. Since Mary introduced Amos on her social media page and revealed they had been together for a few months now. Anyone who's stuck by Cody Brown for 20 plus years obviously doesn't have high standards. In season 10 of Sister Wives, Mary proved just how bad her taste in men was when she fell in love with a man on the internet who turned out to be a woman. So far Mary has bagged a catfish and a Cody, you would think the men in her life could only get better. There's nowhere to go but up, right? Star Mary Brown's BF, Amos Andrews, accused of avoiding child support payments for seven years. Love is in the air for Sister Wives star Mary Brown, as she sweetly revealed on her 53rd birthday. The reality star shared a lovely carousel on Instagram featuring her new boyfriend, Amos Andrews. As per Mary's caption, they've been secretly dating since October last year and are excited to get to know each other more. Mary began this happy chapter of her life after her heartbreaking split from her ex-husband Cody Brown. While Mary seems to have permanently closed the chapter with her ex, it looks like her new beau is amid a vicious legal battle from a second divorce. All may not be well in paradise for the new couple. According to reports, Andrew stands accused of refusing to pay child support for about seven years. Court documents procured by the publication give more insight into a brief history of Andrew's past. The reality star's boyfriend reportedly exchanged vows with his now ex-wife Shannon Marie Martin in a Las Vegas ceremony on February 18, 1995. Just two years later, they had a daughter, Tiffany Andrews. However, just like that, their marriage fell apart in 2000 and they filed for divorce the same year. Documents reveal that their marriage was irretrievably broken and there is no reasonable prospect of reconciliation. The former couple was awarded joint custody of their daughter's care following the joint parenting plan. Andrews was ordered to make monthly payments of $373 in the form of child support to his ex-wife starting February 1, 2001, until his daughter's 18th birthday. 
Fast forward to present times and Martin claims that he's not been consistent with payments. In 2013, she returned to the court to file a petition to alter their ongoing custody agreements and child support. In her filing, Andrew's ex-wife alleged the father did not make consistent child support payments from the time of divorce in 2001 until his wages were garnished in 2008. Furthermore, Martin presented a calculated estimate of all the years Andrews missed payments, saying the seven years of arrears total approximately $10,000, for which the father currently pays only $125 per month through wage garnishment. Martin continued to allege that Andrews would often switch his phone numbers and email addresses on multiple occasions without prior notice, rendering him out of her reach. Additionally, she alleges that he'd refuse to contribute to the child's expenses for daycare, medical-slash-dental-slash-vision. Martin claims she's been the primary payer for every extracurricular school activity, medical appointment, counseling, braces, glasses, contracts, etc., involving their daughter. The former couple is still engrossed in a heated legal battle concerning custody, with a myriad of problems left to tackle. However, an official court date to sort through these issues is yet to be unveiled. Miri's response to the whole ordeal is highly anticipated. For now, she remains mum about the subject. Did Sister Wives producers manipulate Cody Brown? TLC star shares sad experience amid scripting accusations. It seems like Cody Brown and Sister Wives producers are not on good terms anymore. The reality TV star confronted that it came to a point where what the producers were portraying on the screen were almost perpetually in conflict. He says in an interview with Mormon Discussion Inc., I almost cannot bear to watch the episodes without getting physically ill, so it's become overall a very sad experience. He accepted, I have a love-hate relationship with the producers. He has a great talent for antagonizing me. Cody claimed that there came a point in the show when producers started asking him and his family to do certain things. Cody said, so he's producer, be like, I need your family to do this, I need your family to do that. Cody accepted being guided by the producers about how to behave was challenging. He further accepted that reruns and flashbacks made each of her family members remember those things that were not necessary. And that was something that brought a crack in the relationships. Cody accepted that he made her relationships look easy in the beginning but later he realized that it was not easy to be on the screen. Is Sister Wives Season 18 the end of TLC show? Since the TLC show has completed a circle by featuring the start and the end of the polyamorous lifestyle, it is speculated that there will not be any more seasons ahead. Sister Wives has featured how Cody fell apart from her sister wives, the last season vastly covered the reason behind the end of polygamy. Christine was the first one to walk out of the polygamy. Soon Mary and Janelle followed the same path, claiming that they did not feel the love was resonated by Cody. Is Sister Wives star Cody Brown following monogamy now? As of now, Cody is only legally married to Robin Brown. There were rumors of both of them looking out for another sister's wife, but that was not affirmed by either of the stars. Therefore, Cody and Robin are reported to be following a monogamous life. Cody might not be in contact with her ex-sister wives, but he is still in connection with his kids from them. Christine previously revealed that Cody visits her kids often. Star Janelle Brown explains why she does not consider herself divorced from Cody Brown. Janelle Brown, a star from the reality TV show Sister Wives, recently shared her perspective on her relationship status following her split from Cody Brown in 2022. She clarified that since they were never legally married, she doesn't consider herself divorced. In an interview published on January 23, Janelle discussed her feelings about the breakup and how she communicates it to others. I just say I'm no longer with him. When I explain it to outside people, I'm like, I'm no longer with my partner," Janelle explained. She prefers the term single and mentioned that it depends on the context and the person she is talking to. I guess I just consider myself single. I don't consider myself divorced or separated or whatever. I just think I'm single," she added. TLC. Janelle emphasized the absence of a legal marriage as a key factor in her choice of terminology. Because we never were legally married, I can't really say I'm divorced," she stated. On the other hand, fellow former sister wife Christine has a different perspective. 
Christine, who got married to David Woolley in October, expressed her preference for clarity in her relationship status. I like things clear-cut. I don't like gray lines. I can tell you the data was divorced, she shared. Christine acknowledged that her ex-husband Cody was not pleased with her straightforward approach. However, she highlighted that they were no longer bound by the rules of their former church. But we're not in that church, we haven't been in that church for years," she explained. Regarding her recent wedding to Wooly, Christine described it as a dream come true. Wooly added, I'm really very lucky and very happy that someone let her go, because she's a unicorn. Janelle responded to a fan's inquiry about Cody's apparent anger, suggesting that part of his frustration stems from witnessing his vision of a large unified family dissolve. Janelle expressed that Cody had long sought a cohesive family dynamic, where the children treated each other as siblings. She recognized that Cody might be struggling with the realization that the envisioned ideal family structure is falling apart. Janelle noted Cody's recent statements about feeling burdened by relationship responsibilities and shouldering the workload. She proposed that Cody might be mourning the loss of his envisioned family unit. In the Tell All episode, Miri addressed speculations about the root cause of their challenges, refuting the notion that a singular factor contributed to their issues. Emphasizing the complexity of their situation, Miri suggested that a combination of various factors, including incorporating Robin into the family, going public, and relocating to Las Vegas, played a role. In response to questions about Cody's emotions during the tell-all Mary, who was married to Cody for over 30 years before revealing their divorce, acknowledged hearing him speak negatively. Maddie Brown reveals great peace she has for first time in life. Recently, sister wives, Maddie Brown has made a statement about the great peace she has in her life now for the first time. Not long ago, she expressed setting boundaries with who she allows in her kids' lives. Unfortunately, she questions Cody Brown's state of mind and has decided to exclude him from their lives. But now she is speaking out about some of her past struggles and how she views life now. On Sister Wives star Maddie Brown's Instagram page, she speaks out about her past and discusses a newfound piece. First, she attaches a video of her holding Joey with the text, Joey learned how to say hi and now says it and waves it all the time. Then she states, Throughout my life, I've felt immense pressure to conform to specific expectations. While she doesn't lay blame on one person, she recently said Cody Brown doesn't know her children, but that Janelle and Christine are still in their lives. Elaborating on expectations, she says how to act, how to succeed, how to navigate relationships. Whether it's about career choices, marriage, having kids, or balancing work and home life, the demands seemed endless. In 2023, I experienced a profound shift. Maddie Brown gives hope for embracing change. Then Janelle and Cody Brown's daughter, Maddie Brown further tells about the shift she went through. Additionally saying, I discovered peace in embracing my own desires and letting go of societal expectations, family expectations, and certain ideas I was raised with.